taking Mitchell Trubisky, I don't have a problem with who you take, but the why. And if yes. the why is we're tired of passing on quarterbacks, we need a face of the franchise quarterbacks, you're doing your franchise and the kid a disservice, Jimmy Haslam, owner of the Browns. I'm, I'm with you. Like I, I know that while to, in some circles it would have been frowned upon if, if the Browns decided to take Mitchell Trubisky number one, but if it was a, a decision they all agreed on, right. I'd say, okay, well, that's their guy. That's who they love. That's who they see as being a face of the franchise. Then cool. It's just too much of the reports feel like the, the Browns are in the club. It's 2 a.m. The lights came on, and they were trying to pick somebody. I was thinking Al Green. They're tired of being alone. Yeah. That's where I was going with. Like, they just – he wants a quarterback so bad. You look at the quarterbacks they pass on, Carson Wentz being the latest. It's like, yo, we got to get us a quarterback. We got to get us a franchise quarterback. And maybe he will be, but it's like, at number one, you take the guy that's going to affect the game for sure – from day one, unless you're talking about a guy that's a for sure franchise quarterback. If they're sure about it, I'm good with it. I just don't like the, I the idea of an owner coming in and saying, what about the quarterback and pressure pressuring his football people to take the quarterback when he's not the best player. You don't reach for one. Especially when you have the head coach that you do. What is interesting, though, um, even though uh, uh, Booger McFarland was not as ruthless as Warren Sapp was about um, Miles Garrett, that is a common criticism that I've yeah. heard that I've heard of him. And so I do wonder, is there a part of this thinking with the Browns? When you miss on a defensive end, I'm not, and they've done that before and, and with Courtney Brown, that's not to say you don't get clowned for missing on that pick either, but it is different when you miss on a quarterback versus a guy like Miles Garrett. Oh, absolutely. There's a whole lot of people, a whole lot of teams that would take Miles Garrett in the Browns position. Not so many that would take Mitchell Trubisky. So I wonder if part of this Two is that they just don't like Trubisky or at least Hugh Jackson at number one as opposed to just like overall. They can take the overall. best player available. And if, if, the, if all things being equal, if, if the best player and the quarterback are, are close or, you know, in striking distance, then, yeah, you may take the quarterback because it's the most important position, but you don't reach down and take somebody who's not worthy of the number one pick, number one, because it's the number one position.